We should just acknowledge the reality that uh, uh, the Republic of China Taiwan deserves to have its sovereignty, its diplomatic sovereignty, its economic sovereignty, its political sovereignty. That the United States ought to recognize that as we are. We should be prepared to help you train and use them effectively as well. So you you can't answer how likely it is. In a static way, because it, it turns on the willingness of the Western world to demonstrate that the costs for Xi Jinping engaging in that kind of activity are just too high. This morning, I. I made the simple declarative statement that we should just acknowledge the reality that the, uh, the Republic of China Taiwan deserves to have its sovereignty, its diplomatic sovereignty, its economic sovereignty, its political sovereignty. That the United States ought to recognize that as fundamentally consistent with who we are as a nation and where Taiwan places itself in the world. I think it's those kinds of things, that clarity, that recognition. That recognition of the simple truths, the things we all know, but sometimes, sometimes we're just a little worried that even saying so might provoke a bad guy. I think when the world sees alliances frayed, or they they hear disinformation from the CCP or from Russia that says that the West, those of us who value democracy and freedom, that our nations are in decline. I think when they hear those repeated, and we don't, we aren't resolved to demonstrate that those are fundamentally untrue. That authoritarian regimes feel more free to undertake precisely the kind of adventurism that's killing Ukrainians today. We can't let that happen, and I'm counting. I'm counting on the United States and Taiwan to both be part of leading that model, which will create, which will create a system, a, a system which prevents authoritarian regimes around the world from using force to try and destroy the people of a sovereign nation. It, you, one can't answer the question about the likelihood of this in a static way. It depends. It, it, it depends on how we respond and behave. It depends on the work that we do. It depends on uh, our willingness to listen to uh, Taiwanese leadership, who tells us we need certain equipment, we need certain training assistance. You, you all are prepared uh, to expend your money to purchase these systems. We are. We should be prepared to help you train and use them effectively as well. So, you, you can't answer how likely it is. In a static way, because it, it turns on the willingness of the Western world to demonstrate that the costs for Xi Jinping engaging in that kind of activity are just too high. Uh, you are talking about year 2024, but uh, how about beyond that?、Uh, it's hard to know. <laughs>、uh, I, I hope that we'll elect、uh, across the board people who who care about、uh, the relationship between the United States and Taiwan and freedom, protecting freedom in our nation as well.